things you wouldn't hear at the Olympics. The athletes will now go forward to receive their medals and complimentary prawn crackers. <laughs> and there is the Chinese coxless four. It's a harsh punishment, but that's what happens if you <laughs> lose a heat. And look, there's Paula Radcliffe in a clown outfit holding a sparkler. <laughs> We can't find the national anthem to Togo. We're going to have to use the Benny Hill theme tune. <laughs> and that is a personal best. The first time I've managed to crack one off to the weightlifting. <laughs> oh, my God, things are really exciting here at the sailing. <laughs> <laughs> and there goes the bell. Someone has stolen the bell. <laughs> Now, over to the Paralympics with Glenn Hoddle. <laughs> <laughs> she's past one, she's past two. Paula Radcliffe is very ill indeed. <laughs> he meddled in Sydney, he meddled in Athens, and he's going to meddle here unless someone catches him. <laughs> <laughs> and coming up, your chance to watch teenagers in leotards without feeling bad. <laughs> To show you just how polluted this city is, the javelin has got stuck in the sky. <laughs> <laughs> the leading British swimmer has had to pull out of the 400 metres freestyle because he couldn't find a pound for the locker. <laughs> <laughs> well, we should have done better in the shooting, and this young team from South Manchester know it. <laughs> And anyone who thinks that this opening ceremony is amazing has never been to Blackpool on ecstasy. 